Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you the secret to overcoming objections when you are prospecting, cold calling, or lead generating. I will actually do another video at some point on handling or overcoming objections at the listing appointment. But before you could get to the listing appointment and have to handle objections at that point, you have to be able to set a listing appointment first. And in order to do that, whether you're prospecting over the phone, you are door knocking, or you're talking to people all over the place, you're gonna have to overcome objections. And I'm gonna give you the four steps to handling objections in these situations. And before I actually give you the four steps, I, would, I do wanna give you the secret to being able to overcome these objections. And the secret is, what happens in your mind when you hear an objection? One of two things will happen. If you are well prepared, if you've practiced, if you have great scripts, if you're role playing, you're reading, rewriting scripts, when you are well prepared and you hear an objection, this is what goes on in your mind. Oh, yes! Give it to me. I'm ready for it. I know exactly what to do. You're not saying that to yourself, but you're feeling like, I got this. There's no fear. There's no hesitation. Now, if you're not well prepared and you don't know what to say and you don't have great scripts, when you hear an objection, you go, oh, no, another objection. I don't know what to say. You freak out. You start looking at scripts. You get in your head while they're actually giving you the objection. You're thinking about what to say. And there is hesitation in that moment for you. Now, hear me. The secret to being able to overcome objections is have no hesitation. And to have no hesitation, that requires preparation. Yeah, a lot happens when preparation meets opportunity. Every time you're having a conversation with a prospect, especially a FISBRO and expired, there's an opportunity for you to set a listing appointment. The question is, are you prepared? The more you prepare, the more confident you will be. And the more confident you are, the less you hesitate. And why is this hesitation conversation so important? Because when you're prospecting and you're speaking with someone you don't know, someone you've never talked to before, they have no idea who you are, what you do, how great you are, how you can help them, zero. If that person you don't know happens to be one of the two hottest prospects in the history of real estate, which is a for sale by owner or unexpired listing, they're not very welcoming and happy about getting calls from real estate agents for various reasons. That's not what this video is about. If you've called a FISBR unexpired, they're typically, um, they could even be hostile, but they're typically not very happy people to hear from you. Now, what happens in that moment? They give you an objection and you go, because uh, you don't know what to say because you're not well prepared. Well, they're, in their mind, subconsciously, your hesitation makes them feel like, eh, no, this doesn't feel right. This is not the right agent for me. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not interested. I'm not selling anymore. I'm not paying a commission. I don't want to listen to an agent. You're going to hear all these objections probably from most of the ones you call. Anyhow, they give you the objection, which what is that objection? It's an opportunity. They're, they're still there. They didn't hang up. They're giving you an objection and they're, they're on the other end of this conversation thinking, go ahead, say something that's going to make me feel pretty good about possibly meeting with you. And then you hesitate. So in their mind, they're going, eh, no. 
not worth my time. I'm not interested. Click. You know, I'm not interested. They could give you two or three objections before they hang up. But the bottom line is they're going to hang up when you hesitate and you've just lost an opportunity for lack of preparation. And I, and I say this confidently, not just from my own experience in listing 150 FISBOs and expireds a year for several years in one of the most competitive real estate markets in the country, not just that. I am currently coaching hundreds of clients who are setting appointments, pre-qualifying, going out and taking lessons from FISBOs and expireds every single day. So it's not that, well, that doesn't work in today's market. No, it worked in, today, work in today's market. And you need to make sure that you're better prepared because your prospecting is the foundation of a productive, profitable, efficient real estate business. You're not going to have all of that profitability, efficiency, high productivity as a real estate agent without the foundation of you actually speaking with people every single day. And most of these people are going to be people you don't know because the number of people you know is limited, especially if you're brand new to real estate and you don't have past clients yet. So, to wrap this up, here are the four steps to handling objections over the phone. Number one, listen intently while they're giving you the objection. Number two, repeat, massively approve, validate their objections so they feel heard and understood. Number three, ask a question to get their attention, spark curiosity, create doubt about what it is they're thinking about or what their objection is and how they want to do things. And number four, close for the appointment. I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to tell you in this channel where you're at right now, there is a, a playlist titled live prospecting calls. That's me actually making for sale by owner calls to, to real live FISBOs. Go ahead, click on that tab, watch some of those live role plays, and you're going to hear me do steps one, two, three, four, and actually set listing appointments. I trust that you're going to use this information to get yourself better prepared on a daily basis because the truth is you play at the level that you practice. So practice at a very high level so you could perform at a high level when you're actually making these calls, door knocking and talking to people out there. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.